Okay, so this video is for those who have um, changed some, some of their settings such as changing the tire size or just anything else in here that may have caused you to get like a check engine light or the, um, the, the 4x4 error message. So anytime you make changes, like any changes in Foreskin and it throws you those messages, here are two places you need to go to um, make sure you, well these are two places to go to get those messages gone. Um, so the first thing you want to do, you want to run the, um, the PCM relearn, and then you want to run the, um, all wheel drive relearn. I'm not sure if you can do this one first or that one. I just been doing the PCM first and then doing the all wheel drive and it just worked for me. I never tried the other way around. Um, you can and give it a try see if it works. This is just the way that I do it and it works. Um, but yeah, so once you make changes to your tire size or, some other stuff that throws those messages you want to go here and here because what hap what happens is although you change the setting inside of like the uh um not even sure what this stands for but once you once you make changes here um what happens is the pcm and the all-wheel drive modules they don't see these changes immediately you have to make it relearn it that way they will all work in harmony again because right because once you do that you're just changing one of the modules and the other modules are still on the old settings and doing those two will uh, correct the issue um in conjunction with uh what i said earlier when you're making changes to your tire size um i discovered well i didn't discover i googled it um i found out that um there's a um, hard-coded limit to the tire size you can input here um, so if you go to tires you know search it up um, the, and you go here I want to say 2718 is the max number that um, Forescan will take because um, if you put a number that's bigger than this into the system you will not get any of the error messages uh, mentioned earlier like the 4x4 or the check engine light but what you will get is still a discrepancy between the um, the PCM and the AWD modules with the um, with this module here. It'll just create a uh, discrepancy, and you will lose the um, um, cruise control if equipped, and a few other the lane keep stuff as well. Those will be turned off by default because the systems are not agreeing with each other. So um, just be mindful of that when you're changing your tire size and you you know you input a number that may be greater than this and you don't get any error messages. Um, if you do not get any error messages, that means the setting did not take and you have possibly um, rendered some other stuff uh, inoperable. Um, but I could be wrong. If, I could be wrong with this number. It may go up to 2720. But um, I did try 2730 and um, I didn't get any error messages and my cruise control did deactivate. And I couldn't turn it back on unless I uh, cranked the number back down. And uh, this number here has seemed to be comfortable with it. Um, I'm currently running um, 37s, but this is the number that I could that that the system will let me put in. Um, it's off by like two miles per hour because um, I have like a little GPS speed thingy built into my radar detector that tells me how fast I'm going. Um, and it's just like one or two miles off, but um, no biggie. But um, there's just a warning for y'all when y'all changing y'all's tire size.